Chapter 26 How Will Spontaneous Conviction Appear? The spontaneous conviction will appear after concentrated meditation. Meditation is the foundation, the base. The mind will not accept the meditation practice so easily. It will rebel in different ways, trying to put you off the practice. There will be thought disturbances, making it difficult for you to sit for any length of time. Whatever happens during your practice, persevere with the meditation and ignore the thoughts and feelings that arise. Distractions will become fewer and fewer if you don't give them attention. If you pay any attention to these temporary vibrations, it is like adding fuel to the fire. Just view them as passing clouds and let them go. Strictly follow your master's instructions in the beginning. The master is an enabler. He is like a mirror in which you can recognise yourself and know reality. Have strong faith in the master. You are already a master, but you are not aware Therefore, an outer master is needed to guide you until you have conviction. After conviction, you will realise your masterly essence. You will be your own master and live like a master. This physical body is not the master. The spirit is talking through this body. The spirit is listening through this body. But there is no difference between the speaker and the listener. If you have strong devotion and an unwavering faith in the master, the conviction will come. At the moment, you are under the false impression that you are separate from the master. This feeling of duality comes from the influence of the body form. Your whole perspective will change with meditation. When you realise what you are not, all these illusory divisions and separations and imaginary dualities will dissolve. After spontaneous conviction, There will not be any feeling of division between the master and the disciple. When you see yourself as formless and the master as formless, any sense of separation that was there previously will dissolve. There is only oneness. All is one. There is only sky. For example, The sky within this ashram, the sky within that house and the sky within that bathroom is one sky only, all one and the same. We have erected the walls and created divisions by naming everything for our orderly existence in the body form. But they are all one and the same. When the walls collapse, i.e. when there is the realisation of oneness, What is left? Formlessness and omnipresence. Sky is sky. The spirit within this body, that body or in everybody, is one and the same. It is everywhere. That conviction will appear spontaneously after reciting the mantra. I keep reminding you of the wonderful opportunity that you have to wake up from this dream. But you have become so comfortable and complacent in your illusory dream world that you cannot even see or value this opportunity. It is a tragedy that you view the body as an end in itself 
as if it is some kind of hedonistic machine. This kind of base existence makes you no different to any other animal. Use your intellect that you have been gifted with to find out who you are. Recognise that the body is of great value because it is the medium through which you can identify yourself. Don't neglect this opportunity. If you do, your illusory concepts will once more create another dream. So use what you have at your disposal and give of yourself completely. Devote yourself to the task of finding out who you are. Take this opportunity with all seriousness. Remove the concepts before they are set in stone. When old age approaches, it will be much more difficult, even impossible, to shift them. I am not asking you to neglect your family life and sit for hours in meditation. No, not at all. Attend to your work. Eat whatever you wish. There are no food restrictions. If your body needs a particular type of food, then have it. The body is a food body, therefore keep it healthy. If you like vegetarian food, then eat vegetarian food. If you like meat or fish, then eat meat or fish. There are no dietary restrictions. You are not an ascetic. Therefore, there is no need for any self-denial or fasting or renunciation. Everything in moderation is good for the body, while anything in excess is poison. So don't worry about your, di your diet. You have nothing to do with the food body, but you do have a duty to keep it healthy. Follow the teachings that is most important. You are to grasp this opportunity with both hands and take it very, very seriously. You will not be able to remove the concepts when you are older. At present they are tender. However, if they are established, it will be much harder to shift them. Now is the time. Now is your time. Devote time for yourself. Move closer and closer to selfless self. Then the spontaneous conviction will appear. After conviction, you will be a master in your own right. I guarantee it. With strong faith in yourself and strong faith in the Master, spontaneous conviction is inevitable. That illusory sense of separation will disappear.